everybody, good afternoon. This is me, Reut again, from Reut, the homemade cook. And today, I'm going to show you how to make courgette boats Mexican style. Let's start. So I've washed four courgettes and I cut them lengthwise, right? And now we need to empty the inside. You can use a melon cutter, a melon baller, but also you can use just a normal metal spoon. So I take it all out like that. Can you see? Now let's do all the project like this. And the inside I'm going to put in a bowl. We're going to get it into the mix of the rice. So we empty the inside of the courgettes and now we're going to oil them lightly with olive oil just like that and obviously the skin as well and I want you to place skin down in the, um, in the oven pan. Now you do all of them like that and we set it aside. Okay, now we turn on the hob and we put one tablespoon of olive oil. I chopped one onion and I'll put it in. And one red pepper to put in. You let it cook for two, three minutes. Can you hear it? The sizzling. Two, three minutes, you let the onion and the pepper cook. Smell. Okay, so you let it cook for a few minutes. I'm adding the inside of the courgette into the onion and pepper and keep cooking. Then we have one can of drained and washed black beans. I'm gonna put it in. Keep stirring it. Already look delicious. Okay, you keep stirring it. You add half a cup of sweet corn. Mm, the colors. And last but not least, one cup of cooked brown rice. I wanted to add some fiber into it as well. It's already cooked, I pre-cooked it. Now let's mix it all together and get to the seasoning. Wow. Mmm, without even seasoning, it's just smell yum. Okay, now one cup of salsa of your own choice. You can choose which like, how, how much spiciness you want it. I chose like mild salsa. So not too much, but just the right amount for me. So I pour it in. Salsa, 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 salsa. I love dancing salsa. Right, this and you keep stirring it all in. And now I'm going to add one teaspoon of cumin, a little bit of chili powder, just a little bit, and some salt to taste. Not a lot, at the end you can taste it. Okay, keep stirring. To be honest, I can eat it as it is, just like that. Right. All of this just look beautiful. Look at it. Right now, I'm adding some coriander, chopped coriander, washed chopped coriander that I already chopped in advance into it and keep mixing. Mm. Don't you just want to take a bite now? The colors. Red, yellow, black, green. Green is my favorite color. 
right. I'm turning off the gas now, the hob. This is it. One more thing is, if you like it a bit more spicy, I chopped some uh, red chili. Look, red chili and you can put it in. For me personally, I love it. But my children, I think, will find it too spicy considering I put also the chili powder in. So I'm gonna skip that part. It's depending on your flavor, how strong you like it, uh, you can add it in. All right? We've got our beautiful courgette bouti. And what we do now, start filling each boat in this delicious mix of beans, rice, and vegetables. So I'm just gonna fill them all in. Mm. Look how beautiful it looks. Wow. Okay, we finished filling the courgettes. They are beautiful. Now, I'm going to sprinkle some um, cheese on the top of it. So, let's just do that. They just look gorgeous. Gorgeous like you people, just spread the love. Ooh. What I'm going to do now is to cover it with silver foil. I'm going to cover it and put it in the oven, 180 degrees, fan oven, 180 degrees for 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, I'm going to take it off and let it five more minutes stay without the foil and then serve. I like to serve it with avocado slices on the top and uh, lemon, but I haven't got it now and we are in lockdown, so it's just an idea for you. All right. Okay, those who know me, mm, do you think I could wait even 25 minutes for the courgette to get ready? Mm -mm. I had to take a small bowl with this delicious filling and I'm going to eat it. What am I going to say beside divine, delicious and my word is wow and see you in my next video.